with an FC TV with Chris Agatha looking ahead to Saturday's National League South match against Western Supermare. Aggie, before we get into Saturday, obviously you were absent on Tuesday. Mm. Just a quick word on how you were. Uh, yeah, a bit better. Um, a few more trips to the dentist pending, unfortunately, but yeah, no, it's, uh, I'm, I'm, get, I'm getting there, thank you. Yeah, all good. Touching on Tuesday, I know mm. you probably won't want to, you probably turned, it, turned your hair out watching it back, mm. but um, what were your thoughts after watching it back? Uh, yeah, well, I'm pretty, pretty happy to be fair, pretty positive. Um, I thought we were very good. Um, Farnborough, um, good side, got very good individual players, um, very well organised. <clears throat> um, but, you know, just reflecting on the game, I thought we were very good. Um, ultimately, we, we need to take our chances. Um, because I, I, I listened to the commentary initially, um, which sort of uh, indicated our dominance in the game, and then I, I see, I see um, some post-match interviews, uh, one from their manager as well, where he was um, very happy about the lack of um, scoring opportunities we created. So I'd, I'd heard all this before. I'd seen the actual game back, so I was a bit, you know, we've had loads of the ball, but perhaps we haven't created as much as we could have done, which would be disappointing. But then having watched the game back, you go, oh, actually, no, we, we got into some really good positions and created some really good opportunities. Um, yeah, we, we need to be more ruthless in the opposition's box. Um, we need to take our chances. Um, and. Again, we've got to cut out the individual mistakes in our own box. So it was pretty similar to the Chelmsford game. Um, the, you know, 90% of it was was really good, um, and we're really happy with. And you know, we look like a very good team. Whereas there's 10% uh, which needs improving. Um, and arguably, it's the most important part of the game, which is both boxes. So, um, but. Again, from an attacking perspective, I'm not too critical because we scored a lot of goals and we're creating a lot of chances. And um, yeah, no, we're, we're, we're pleased with what um, the attacking players are delivering. It's the it's the it's stuff on our own box that we need to iron out um, because we need to be able to win a game one 0 and uh, we haven't done that enough this year. And uh, but yeah, as I said, we, we've had a rough couple of days in terms of results but performance wise we're you know, pretty happy where we're at and um, I think to be honest our our form is probably a mirror image of the top sort of half of the table really you win a couple lose a couple win a couple draw one win a few it's it's so uh, inconsistent but I don't think we're an outlier in that respect I think it's like the, the the team at the top of the division changed again last night. Um, it's chopped and changed most weeks, so it's, uh, it's really wide open and it's, um, it's definitely there for us. And if we can find consistency, that's for sure. And it was Western, your opponent Saturday, who mm. were at the top of the table going into Tuesday night. Obviously, you suffered defeat on Tuesday night, but they'll provide a tough test here on Saturday, just like they did on the opening day at their place. Yeah, yeah, it'll be, uh, hopefully, it won't be as similar to the opening day because that was. Mental, um, yeah. No, just look look forward to the challenge. They're a really good side. They're the, they're they're the benchmark in terms of um, the league. I think so far this season because of, of all the teams that have been top. And like I said, it has chopped and changed. They've probably been there more than more than anyone else. So I think taking that into account, they're 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 the team that we need to look to in terms of a reference point of being the best team in the league at the minute. Um, and. Uh, yeah, it'll be, be a tough game, but I think if we can look after what we do, we can keep building on the very good bits that we've seen over the last few weeks um, and iron out the individual mistakes and the errors um, in our own box. Because we, we'll, we'll always score goals, like, like I said, with the, the Farnborough game, that was a, you know, we haven't had many um, zeros in terms of goal score from our perspective. So. Um, the big thing for us is we need to stop conceding goals and like I said on Saturday, early on in the season I felt we were conceding goals because perhaps the setup of the team wasn't right or the balance of the team wasn't right, personnel maybe, 
you know, wrong, wrong players in the wrong spaces. But um, reflecting on um, more recently, I, I think goals can see there's been down to individual mistakes. So, uh, and that that only happens if you know, players maybe lose a little bit of form uh, as a one-off, or they can't do what you're asking them to do. So. Um, there's a challenge there for for those players that have maybe made a few more mistakes on a consistent basis in terms of uh, can you do what we need you to do. Um, but the players know that. And, um, again, the over, overwhelming feeling is is that we're in a good place and um, we're going to Western confident that we can try and take six points off in this season. Looking at the squad for Saturday, um, just a quick note on Holly Black. Yeah. He's missed out on the last couple of games. Is he injured? Yeah, he's got concussion. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it's from the. Sorry, I was going to make a joke then. Well, should he do have a concussion? <laughs> yeah, probably not appropriate. Um, yeah, no, he, so he. Um, I think it was from the Eastbourne United game um, and then training the following Thursday. He went to head a ball and. Didn't react particularly well, so uh, we, yeah, we're just taking all the sort of precautions um, needed. There's a very thorough concussion protocol now, which means you're out for foreseeable future. I think the concussion now. So, but I understand the the the, um, the reason there is such a, a thorough process around it. And to be fair, Stretch and the medical department are brilliant. So uh, even if we wanted to push Ollie out there, we wouldn't be allowed to. So. Uh, but you know, he's, he's on the mend, he's back in tonight and uh, yeah, we just sort of got to work for a few stages with that. Um, Tommy Willard, we are doubtful for Saturday. Um, come off early against Farnborough, which is a killer because he's been playing really well. Uh, he's probably been one of our best attacking players and without doubt one of our best attacking players. Um, Cam, Cam Tut's back in training. Which is good. Danny Cashman, the other Danny Cashman, uh, he'll be alright. He's, he's tough. He's pretty robust. He's used to getting booted all over the place anyway. So um, yeah, no, we're, we're pretty confident he'll be alright. And uh, yeah, we're, you know, we're missing a few, but equally, I'm not going to moan about injuries and stuff like that. That's the point. Having the squad, and we've got a really good squad. And, um, you know, like with Cookie getting suspended. Um, See Paco come on and played very well against Farnborough, so uh, we've we've got real confidence in the group. So you won't see you won't see us sort of panicking or getting too disappointed. But as I said, it's a, it's a reason we've got a squad. It's a reason we've got a really good academy. So um, yeah, if we need to dip into um, the academy, we will. 